Jamaica is that not all their stars are there. Ronaldo, Cafu, they're out. But just look at that lineup. You've got Taffarel in goal, Zay Maria, Baiano, Consalves, Silva, Conceal, Zinho, Danielson Jr., and then, of course, Romario and Amundo up front. That is a powerful lineup. And that man, Romario, he knows how to find goals in a big way. This guy sticks him in the net as well as any player in the world playing his club soccer back in Brazil. For Jamaica, their coach, Rene Samoas, he's got his hands full because talking with him this morning, he said, I've got to make a team out of 11 individuals. He's got a very experienced goalkeeper in Barrett. Sinclair, Brown, Gardner, Dixon, and Goodison, they're packing it in at the back, playing with really what amounts to five defenders. Guys that are going to have to find the net for them up front is number 22, Hall, number 18, Burton. They've got their hands full. And then, of course, the guy that's going to have his hands busy tonight is their goalkeeper, Warren Bedett. He's played a lot for Jamaica. That will help him, but Brazil's going to come at him in a big way. The referee for tonight's game from the United States, a proud night for Essie Beharmist. He was just named yesterday to the World Cup assignment. He'll be working in France this summer. Essie, who began his career in the United States in the 1980s, has worked very hard. I know, Rick, you and I have known Essie for many, many years, and he has worked very hard to get where he is, and really a, a great night for him working a, a world-class game before a crowd of around 60,000, and now he's headed to France this summer. Uh, Kevin, it is a great honor for any referee to get an opportunity to officiate a game such as this, two World Cup-bound national teams. I actually have played in games that Essie officiated, and he is what we call a player's referee. He's one of those guys that he develops a rapport with you out there so that you don't feel like you've got somebody judging you in a negative way. He's there to help keep the game and the players focused on the sport of soccer, and he does an excellent job. I expect him to do a good job tonight. Danielson, possibly the next Brazilian superstar. He'll draw a start tonight against the Reggae Boys from Jamaica. And this crowd, it is a divided crowd, but I would have to say, Rick, just listening during the pregame introductions, that this crowd is a predominantly Jamaican oriented crowd they're going to be cheering for the reggae boys kevin if there is a battle out on the field there is a challenge in the stands and that challenge is the fans competing with one another to be the most vocal brazilian fans so well known around the world who are coming in support of their teams no matter where they're playing jamaica really making a strong statement with how much in force they've shown out here this evening Dion burton out there along with Paul Hall, they'll kick it off for Jamaica. Wearing the green and gold. Brazil in their traditional uniform. And here we go. Fitzroy Simpson plays the ball long, far side. Into the area, but the flag went up. Flag was called for a handball. But certainly what Jamaica has done, Kevin, is that, that's a little bit of a statement play. You start off by touching the ball back off of the kickoff, and then you bang it down the field, trying to catch Brazil maybe sleeping a little bit, but maybe, again, making the statement that they're really going to be attacking this game, not showing the respect that you might think that a country like Jamaica would have for Brazil. Ian Goodison plays it all the way back. Goal in there. Don't say so. Plays it to the outside. The Nielsen, his drive to flex across the end line and will get a corner kick coming up to Brazil. Both of these teams a little bit rusty in their start. That ball actually wound up with the Nielsen wide left. This represents a corner kick opportunity and we can expect to see some of their defenders venture forward to try and get ahead on this ball. Zinho will take it. Out in front. Ball headed. And Romero puts one right on goal. And Warren Barrett has to go down. Well, Romario showing some of the skill and ability that he has as a player. Not really much or very active on that corner kick, but suddenly the ball came to him and he pulled the shoot string on it and it went right on target, right into the hands of Barrett.
the back very solid for Brazil. Simpson is playing. Gonçalves was right there. A look at Taparel. A starter since 1989 for Brazil. You talk about experience, Kevin. This guy has played in two World Cups already. Barring anything catastrophic like an injury, it's likely he'll play in his third this summer. Essie Bahamas blows the whistle. There you get a look at Essie. He has officiated at just about every level in the United States and was on the FIFA list over the last couple of years. Gardner plays it ahead, but the offside flag went up. Paul Hall was in an offside position, got in behind the Brazilian defense. Good, smart play there, Kevin, by the Brazilian defenders, in particular number three, Junior Baiano. He ended up stepping up, not trying to run with the Brazilian attacker, or the Jamaican attacker. Just let him go, step up, he's offside, plays over. Running down the touchline is Zinho, but can't catch up to it. Throw in coming up to Jamaica. Ricardo Gardner will throw in for the Reggae Boys. Junior plays it ahead. Burton launches it the other way. Running on is Paul Hall. Hall loops it. Well wide of goal. He's actually got that quizzical look that players often get. The traditional hand signal there. He got called for shoving the defender off as we get a look at the coach for Jamaica, Renee Samoas. Got to be a great thrill for him to be coaching a Jamaican team. First time ever for these two teams to meet. Ball played back at Mundo. Plays for Fiorentina of Italian Serie A. Ahead it comes. Played towards the area. Romario can't catch up to it. Nice move by Whitmore. A little ole from the crowd here in Miami. Well, the early moments of this game so important, I think, Kevin, for this Jamaica team. How devastating it would be to put the underdog down by a goal early on. The back heel by Gonsaisal. You look at Mario Zagallo. He said that he had trouble fielding players, and now a little bit of a discussion along the touchline following the foul that took down Gonsaisal. Actually, the tackle and the players kind of getting in each other's faces a little bit. We'll see on the replay just a dangerous tackle there from behind against Flavio Conceição. Number 24, Gardner, ends up getting a yellow card because of it. S.A. Bomber is doing the right thing, I think, Kevin, because Conceição is going nowhere on the sideline there. You don't need to kick a player like that. That's another one of those statement type of plays as we see Flavio Conceição up and kind of limping his way around. And Essie says, guys, let's get back to playing here. Brazil, the number one team in the most recent FIFA rankings. Zé Maria. Now Dion Burton gets a touch. Looking again up front for Paul Hall. I expect that to happen often. The way this Jamaica team will succeed in attack is utilizing their speed and pace. Cross by Gardner. Foul spotted by Essie Bahamas. Rene Samoas three years ago predicted his team would get to the World Cup. A lot of folks said that this guy was just mad. Even a lot of fans in Jamaica. But now he has been proven right. His team is headed to France this summer. He has made a country so proud for such a long time. Jamaica has developed some very talented and skilled players, but 
no one ever really took them seriously because they're just now starting to see a strong professional league emerge for their players to play in. So if you make the comparison between Jamaica and other countries, they're still very much infants in this sport. For imports from the English Premier League, recalled for this game, although Robbie Earl from Wimbledon, because of injury, unable to participate. Mono Silva plays it out. Do you like the idea of exporting players and letting them get experience in England? I, I think it's a wonderful concept, and I think it ends up helping a player in his growth and development because if you can put them in the best environment in their preparation, the better they will become as players. Ball played out wide. The only player there, Gonzalez. Gonzalez, one of the leaders on this team, 31 caps. They play it long for Romario. Back there defensively. Durant Brown. And so Brazil, the way that they will, I think, be most effective, and I'm sure Zagallo has instructed them to play, is what we expect of Brazilian teams. A lot of quick touches, just tremendous vision and deception in where they're focusing their attack. And by, again, sending a long ball from 45, 50 yards away, takes the ball a long time to get there by speed standards and so Jamaica will cover that all day all game long. Taparel. What we see here is Jamaica applying a little bit of pressure and that of course is something that they've got to do if they want to be successful tonight because you cannot back off and let the Brazilian players with as much talent as they have come at you because they'll just tear you apart. A number of Brazilian players are not here. We mentioned that Zagallo had said it was difficult to get players into this tournament. This considered a friendly for Brazil, unlike Jamaica. They are members of CONCACAF. Brazil is not enough for Brazil. This is considered a friendly and European nations will release players for five friendlies. Brazil in a unique position because they did not have to qualify as the defending champion for the World Cup. Zinho plays it ahead. Romario, great ball into the area. Played back in and Warren Barrett with company at his six-yard line, says, I'm just going to dump it out of there. Well, sometimes the passes are just so good as we get a quick look at Warren Barrett in goal, having to use his feet to keep the ball away from his net. Sometimes the Brazilian players, their passes are so good, Kevin, that as the receiver, you just don't expect that they're going to get there. And then suddenly it's there, and it's like, oops. Zé Maria plays it all the way back. Gonçalves plays it left. Now Edmundo. His pass slightly off the mark. Edmundo's been in Zagallo's doghouse ever since Copa America. They play it long. Zé Maria starts out the offense for Brazil. Played out in front. Barrett will let it roll all the way through and will take a goal kick here. Edmundo elbowed Luis Cristaldo of Bolivia in the Copa America this past summer. It wasn't called, but Zagallo immediately pulled him. And he has been in the doghouse ever since, and many were really surprised, to be quite honest, that Edmundo had been recalled for this game and for this tournament. Now, of course, I think part of that is the fact that both Zagallo and Samoas, they've really got to be thinking about what players they're going to name a part of their pool of players to go to France this summer. And therefore, you got to see these guys playing together. You know they're individually talented, but can they play well with one another with the limited amount of time to prepare? Edmundo on the ball now for Brazil. Jose Sao. Jose Maria. 
Great battle going to go on in Brazil for that right back position. Cafu battling with Zé Maria, but Zé Maria has played very well recently for Brazil. Handball call. Opportunity presented to Brazil by way of this free kick is that Junior Baiano ends up getting an opportunity to go forward and use his attribute in the air. Looped in front, Barrett got a piece of it. Ball loose in the six yard box and finally cleared across the touch line. That could have been dangerous for Jamaica. As you look at Rene Samoas. Three kicks swung into the penalty area. Barrett has to come off his line and looks to me like he actually misjudged it. Went off the shoulder of number 11, Romario. But as it was, didn't end up goal bound and they were able to clear it. Junior. Amaro Silva. Play it all the way into Taparel. This here's a little bit of a test from Brazil to the maturity of the Jamaican players. Brazil plays the ball back to their goalkeeper with the idea of drawing the Jamaica players out, giving them more space in the midfield and in the offensive thirds of the field. Jamaica showing some real discipline there, not buying into it, just lays off. And now here they've won possession in the midfield. They play the ball long. Opportunity here. The shot. Taparel the save. That time, Paul Hall with a nice move sets up the shot. And Tapparel saves a goal. Once again, Edmundo. And his shot caroms over the end line. As that man, number 22, Paul Hall, almost pulled off the great play. Getting ahead on it. Junior Baiano. Warren Barrett. Well, you we'll get a goal kick here. And when you talk about the way that Jamaica needs to play, one of the things that Samoa said is that his team needs to mature. They need to learn the game. They need to be taught rather than coached at this particular stage. That is a perfect example of a coach's influence on his players. They knocked the ball long to Paul Hall. He ran onto it. It's a breakaway. That is applying every bit of a coach's belief and use of the talent of his players to perfection or virtual perfection by almost getting a goal. Zamaria gets ahead on it. Rene Samoa has talked today about how he has to change the mindset of this Jamaican side. That he said that when he came to Jamaica three years ago, they were like 11 trained seals. They could all bounce the ball off their head, bounce it off their nose, but they weren't really a disciplined team. What did he mean by that? Uh, specifically, what he's talking about is the fact that the players have all of the physical and technical attributes that you need in a soccer player. But you have to have the game within your mind, within your body, as Brazilians will tell you, within your being, your soul. And in doing that, as a coach, what he's found, he has to instill that into the players. They have no maturity. They have very little experience in the game. He's taking them to the movies. He's making them watch top quality games, games where Brazil has won and lost, where some of the top countries are playing, so that his players can get a feel for how quality play is done. Edmundo plays it out. Zay Maria, the touch, but right there is Ricardo Gardner. Solid defensive play by Gardner. Can Burton hold it in? No, he can't. They're going to say it belongs to Jamaica. Ian Goodison plays it in. Warren Barrett returns the favor. way off the mark. And 
a throw into Brazil. Almost 18 minutes in, no score. Good to have you with us here in South Florida. Kevin Wall along with Rick Davis here on Fox Sports World. The CONCACAF Gold Cup. Looking for Paul Hall, he telegraphed that pass, and Zay Morea took that one away. On Cesar. Plays it ahead to Edmundo, but Edmundo gave it up on the wing, turning his Whitmore and starting it the other way. Peter Cargill. Boy, a real battle going on along the touchline there, and the whistle. It's Roy Simpson called for the foul. Get a look at Denilson there. You know, you wonder why, Kevin, at this level, a player makes a pass to nobody on his team. Very often, the case is, is that you become accustomed to just seeing out of the corners of your eye. You don't actually look up, and the fact that the uniforms both have a yellow or gold to them, very often, that's what your eye will catch, and you'll go ahead and play the ball, thinking that you're passing it to one of your teammates. Flavio Ponceisao pushes it out on the right side. Se Maria, open. The cross, out in front, headed out of danger. Jose Morea doing what a player moving up the right side is supposed to do, crossed it. Now Edmundo looking for Romario. A steal here, Jose Morea lines it to the 18, in front the shot, one time, Edmundo. Kevin Edmundo just blessed with a golden opportunity. Batman Warren Barrett, he breathes a sigh of relief. And of course, the Brazil bench not happy that Edmundo didn't do more with that. You talk about ability. Romario, every bit with every intention and every purpose, used his chest to play the ball up over his head behind him to an overlapping or a through running Edmundo. The communication within a team, knowing where your teammate is going to be. Great example of that. The only thing lacking was Edmundo's finish. Jose Maria. Mano Silva plays it to the Nielsen. Now Edmundo. Pass behind him. Edmundo's passing has not been crisp. There comes Whitmore. Stops on a dime. And then pushes it wide of goal. Just listen to the crowd right into this. They love Jamaica being on the attack. Short corner for Jamaica, but the return pass is not a quality one. That's a real wasted opportunity for Jamaica. The return pass to Fitzroy Simpson, not of good quality. And of course, the patience that, as the coach suppose has to be in working with this team, patient and tolerance for those types of mistakes. Push down from behind, Zinho. Quick restart. Danielson. One one on one against Linval Dixon. Finally gives it up. Again, it's Danielson. Now Edmundo. Here's Edmundo dribbling through trouble. In front. The shot of the save by Barrett. And Barrett may be hurt. And finally, the trainers are called out. Warren Barrett. Well, watching Edmundo dribble that ball through, we get another look here. This ball's on a string. Overpowers the Jamaican defender, and then he takes his shot. I think the bad news for Warren Barrett is he got the ball where it hurts. By making himself big, doesn't matter what part of the body you save it with. You just got to keep it out of your net. Warren Barrett did it, but why is Brazil so great? You just saw it there. Edmundo, individual ability.
They drop the ball. And it's played back to Brazil. I tell you, a play like Edmundo just takes your breath away if you're a soccer fan. Here's a chance for Brazil. Going wide, the shot! Pushed wide that time, and was Zinho cutting the ball to his left. Classic attacking soccer by the Brazilian team, and they want more. They're putting this ball right back into play. Edmundo to the area. This time, Theodore Whitmore drags it out of there and pushes it wide. Peter Cargill to Whitmore. A moment ago, Kevin, did I say it was good to have an Edmundo on your team? Oh, I, I meant to say Xenia. <laughs> A couple minutes from now, I'll probably be saying somebody else. So much great individual talent on the best team in the world. Yes, there's no Leonardo. Yes, there's no Ronaldo, no Dunga. But this is still a team that is blessed with tremendous talent, and many believe this is the team that will win the CONCACAF Gold Cup. Long ball there is a variation of your attack. Brazil a couple of times working the ball right down the middle of the defense. What happens is players then adjust and they drop into that area to block it up. Then we see Edmundo serve a long ball down the right side. As again, a change from the type of attack or attacking style that Brazil has just employed last couple times forward. Danielson from the middle of the field pushes it out wide. Take down there. Junior puts it back into play. Won't say sound. Say Maria. Who will make the next brilliant play for Brazil? Edmundo. Which is it back for Denilson. Nielsen wanted an obstruction call, didn't get it. I, I like uh, I like Essie waving that one off. I think Nielsen hit it, realized he hit it way too hard, and almost made his motion into the defender that had matched up with him trying to draw the obstruction. At the tender age of 20, Nielsen already with 20 caps for Brazil. Big question. On Danielson is will he indeed be moving after the World Cup? He has been heavily courted by Spain. They play it long, Dion Burton. Say Maria, injured player down at the other end of the field. Junior Baiano is down. Ball is continuing to be played. And finally, it's played out by Junior. Essie Bahamas will race over. And the trainers are right there. And of course, Gonzalez, as well as other Brazilian players, are making their opinions known. No caution forthcoming from Essie Baharmist. And Jamaica plays it all the way back into the Brazil end. Edmundo lays it off. Junior lays it ahead. Zinho to the outside. Back to Zinho. Jose Sao. His blast deflected and out across the touchline. A throw into Brazil. Good idea by Jose Sao there to take the shot. Just a little slow in developing and allowed the Jamaican defense to block the shot before it really flew anywhere. Zé Maria plays it in. Moro Silva stymied at the 18. 
Beard all the way back. Fitzroy Simpson. He plays it wide. Jamaica has been anything but intimidated, although Brazil has controlled the play. Jamaica has played with great poise to this point. Actually have done very well, Kevin, although a couple of the passes, as we just saw the one a moment ago, shows a little bit of the lack of creativity of the Jamaican team in terms of the necessary ingredients to create quality scoring opportunities. Sending some long through balls that are just simply off target, but played into a defense that is set and ready for a long ball anyway. The Harmus spots a foul. And Jamaica will get it right back. Fitzroy Simpson will play it in on the free kick. Simpson, one who said that Jamaica coming into this tournament really got no respect at all the talk about reggae boys and party boys. He says, we come to play and we come to play hard. Well, and I think also... Fitzroy Simpson wanting to actually individually be acknowledged for his ability. Playing his club soccer over in England with Portsmouth. And of course, I think that we talked a little bit earlier, Kevin, about how those, that experience that these Jamaican, some of the Jamaican players are getting by playing abroad really is a valuable ingredient when they come back and they play with the national team. Just over 13 minutes to go in the first half, plus any stoppage time. Ball laid off. Foot race. Ricardo Gardner goes sliding out. So does the ball. Taparel on a goal kick for Brazil. 97 caps for this man. Started in the 1990 World Cup and the 94 World Cup. Zagallo has not been shy about playing his regulars whenever possible. Taparel, for instance, started and helped win the Copa America this summer. There also could be some psychological games going on a little bit with coach and player. Here's Edmundo. Edmundo pushes it out wide. Romario tries to thread the needle. Foul. And Jamaica will get it right back, but the high pressure by, J by Brazil right now is really causing Jamaica some problems. And you talk about the unpredictable nature to the Brazilian players. <laughs> For Mario actually used his, let me see if I can get this right, his left, no, his right foot by reaching behind his left foot to flick that pass into the penalty area. This time, Denilson may have gotten one in the face. And let's see, Essie Baharmis. He's going to call the captains over, I think. Here's how it all began. Well, there's just no, no question about it. Peter Cargo kind of comes up high with his arm. Putting it in. His face. And of course, Denilson's ready to go at it, but not after having had his day in court, so to speak. Denilson, through ball to the area. The cross out in front. Right there is Durant Brown. Brown in some traffic. And Jamaica clears it. To the touch line. Hall battling there. And the ball will belong to Jamaica. The foul spotted. Uh, it's just a simple call from a referee's perspective. You can't sit on the ball as we saw Gonzalez do there. 
Gonsalves is likely to be a tired guy by the end of the night because as Jamaica continues to play the ball long and wide, he's got to run out of the middle from his back position. Headed away, Romario touches to Danielson. Danielson runs past Cargo. Cargo finally just grabs some shirt. Danielson keeps it alive. Crossed in front and rejected. Jamaica will counter the other way with nine and a half minutes left. Here in the first half, offside flag goes up. The timing of the run so important going forward. Paul Hall just jumping or starting his run forward a little bit too quickly. Forwards are instructed or told to make their runs parallel until after the ball's been played. Parallel, that is, to the end lines. Therefore, running in line with the defenders instead of in a forward motion as Paul Hall had just done there thereby running himself actually into an offside position. Now they change sides. Ponce Sal. They play it out wide. Zamorea, he loves to go forward. Crossed in front, rejected. Zamorea will get it back. He'll get another try. Played into space. Crossed in front. Barrett goes down to make the stop. Again, important that Barrett's able to make saves when he needs to. That one probably easier than some of the other ones. A little surprised, Kevin, by Zay Maria here on the right side. Although he's going forward, it's almost in a reluctant sense. Not getting to the end line, which we're, of course, so accustomed to seeing him do with Parma in the Italian League where he plays his club soccer. Ian Goodison plays it back. Linval Dixon plays it to the outside for Jamaica. No score. They are playing even with Brazil, the best team in the world. And again, Brazil a little shorthanded here tonight and throughout this tournament. Ronaldo, not a part of this team. Leonardo. Cafu, Aldair. A lot of names are missing, but a lot of great talent is here. Once again, Edmundo to Romario. Romario bends it wide. Um, Rom Romario's mistake, as Barrett, I think, again, breathes a sigh of relief, is that when he receives the ball, Kevin, he doesn't take it hard towards the goal, thereby eliminating that last defender. Again, this is after his touch. He's got to bring the ball forward as he break, touches that or controls it. And then, of course, his strike was with the outside of his right foot, which only served to cause the ball to bend further away from the goal. Warren Barrett skies it back to center. Junior plays it to the outside. Here's Danielson. Great one-on-one -on -one player. Give Marcus Gale some credit. Brazil has threatened, but they have not scored. Romario coming all the way back. Look how far back he came that time. Theodore Whitmore draws the applause of the Jamaican fans in attendance here at the Orange Bowl. Ricardo Gardner with a throw in looking for Dion Burke. Just under six minutes left in the first half, plus any injury and stoppage time. Throw in coming up to Jamaica. Jamaica will try it again. And watching how this Jamaica team has played virtually this entire 40 or so minutes of the first half, so composed and although have given up some opportunities, have one in particular, but a couple themselves. That's why these games are so important to their growth and development and progress. It really gives them an opportunity to experience and learn through competition. Boy, Edmundo has been really high-pressuring 
the Jamaican backs. Edmundo now calling for the trainers. Essie Bahama says, get up. Jamaica actually was involved in some other friendly competition last week. Actually, ten, about 10 days ago when they played against Sweden, who happened to be touring this part of the world. And Sweden, although not one of the top nations worldwide, a very respectable one, and Jamaica tied them, which I think is the, another example of Jamaica almost kind of duplicating or imitating a lot of what we've seen with soccer in the African nations, where they've really come on to the world scene and done so well. Not free, Fitzroy Simpson plays it ahead to Burton. Throw in coming up to Brazil. And if you throw in the two ties at the end of World Cup qualifying against the United States and Mexico, the results have been very positive for Jamaica. Deion Burton plays it wide. Paul Hall. Tries to work his way past Junior Baiano, and there you see Junior Baiano. Only 11 caps. Wow, that was huge for Brazil. Junior Baiano matched up in a one on one situation with the speedster, Paul Hall. He pretty much matched him step for step, ultimately, riding him off the ball in the penalty area by going shoulder to shoulder with him. We spent so much time talking about some of the speed and quickness of this Jamaican team and a couple of their players. Junior Bayano showing that he's no slouch. Just under three minutes to go in the first half. Still no score. Brazil and Jamaica. Paul Hall. His right footer. Taparel handles it easily. had been an offside call there earlier. I think part of the nonchalantness to the save as well as the shot was that Taparel had in fact heard the whistle. Edmundo keeps it alive. The cross in front. Rejected out of the field of play. And a throw in coming up to Brazil. Little communication mixed up there between Edmundo and Romario. And Mundo's pass intended for Romario to make a near post run. Romario waiting at the back post. And an easy defensive clearance for Jamaica. Edmundo hasn't finished well, but other elements of his game have been pretty solid. He actually has brought a lot of different ingredients, finishing not one of them thus far in this game, but just his talent, his vision, his control with the ball. And, of course, this is on top of somebody that's not real happy with what's going on club soccer wise the fact that he's now with Fiorentina but not starting now Edmundo turns his shot bounces wide Edmundo that time going at goal aggressively again I think Edmundo's even a little bit tired this shot really not everything that he wants. And I think part of that fatigue is that his club situation, Kevin, is such that he really hasn't been playing full games for a, about a month now since being transferred to Fiorentina. And of course, if you're not playing in games, you lack that little bit extra fitness-wise that you can only get in games. Brazil tried to spring Romario. Jamaica trying to spring Paul Hall. Under two minutes to go in the first half. Official time being kept down on the field by Essie Baharmist. Tamparel will get a goal kick here.
Camargo comes back to get it. Ball pushed to the outside. Now to Nielsen for Brazil. Short ball there. On Cesar. Pushed outside to Zé Maria. The chip out in front. We are into injury time. to Nielsen with some open space and a winger on the left the cross in front and go oh, again Barrett got a piece of it Romario he denies Romario again Warren Barrett just huge Kevin with a save in the waning moments of the first half I thought Jamaica had made the fatal mistake with Ian Goodison Number five, the defender getting beat by Romario to the ball, not staying with his man. And I believe the offside flag did go up. You could see it on that replay. Romario was in behind the defense when the pass was made. And that's it. Romario and Brazil. Scoreless at the end of 45 minutes. This man, Warren Barrett, 120 caps for Jamaica, has played like Superman here in the first half. At the end of 45 minutes, Brazil and Jamaica, scoreless. Stay with us. Our halftime show coming up next here on Fox Sports World. To do that, what better way to prepare yourself than playing against a Brazil as you get ready for World Cup qualification? Romario is ready. And it has to be a very confident Jamaican team that comes out for the second half. They have played the best team in the world to even through the first 45 minutes. We're underway in the second half. Junior plays it inside for Denilson. Junior again back to Denilson. Burton, his shot, Taparel goes diving to his left. Well, that's just a quality play by Jamaica, Kevin. That is capitalizing on a turnover in midfield, immediately go on the attack. Number 18, Deion Burton with a shot. Corner kick for Jamaica. Opening minute of the second half. Out in front, headed, but not out. Limbaugh Dixon dumps it back in, looking for Deion Burton. Now Edmundo. Deion Burton to the outside. Marcus Gale. Long looping cross to the back post. Too far for Paul Hall. And both coaches have kept the exact same lineups that they started this game with. I think that is in part due to the fact that both are relatively pleased with what their team's doing. I would expect to see the benches get to be a little bit more active sooner from Brazil's side. Nagala wanting to make some changes to get some more offense going, get some goals. Whereas I think Rene Samoas, he'd love for this game to end at a time. Don't say so. Headed away. Limbaugh Dixon cleared it out of immediate danger. Shirt tugging. They were looking for Danielson. Dixon plays it back in to Warren Barrett. Barrett was very solid in the first half. And he is really maybe the only reason this game is still nil-nil. Ball 
played quickly ahead. They were looking to spring Edmundo. He was moving to the right. The ball was passed to the left. Headed away, Junior Bayano. Junior Bayano, like many of these Brazilian players, plays in Brazil for Flamengo. Played towards the end line. The cross out in front. Taparel, though, has an easy play of it. Danielson plays it square. Brazil just looked very, very suspect there. Little communication breakdown between Junior Baiano and Gonzalez in the middle. Neither one really going to the ball, and Jamaica almost blessed with an unchallenged opportunity. A great deal of pressure on this Brazilian team. They are expected to win this CONCACAF Gold Cup. And there are a number of teams that would like to challenge. For instance, Mexico. For instance, the United States. Say Maria. Now the Nielsen. Jamaica seems to be laying back. They always seem to be right in the passing lane. And it's frustrating Brazil. Really what they're doing is that from a midfield and defensive perspective. And then leaving the running up top to number 18, Dion Burton, and number 22, Paul Hall. But for all intents and purposes, all game long, they're likely to defend with nine players or eight field players in their goalkeeper. Cargill got it up to Deion Burton, but he couldn't hold the pass. Now the other way. Zinho plays a quick ball. For Romario. Shot down. Ian Goodison guilty of the foul. And that is actually, I think, a little bit of experience. As Rene Smoas comes on, I think, points some things out. Brazil may be the best country in the entire world as it relates to restarts. As we get a look at the foul, Ian Goodison just challenging in kind of a reckless way that has now given Brazil, although maybe a little bit far away, great opportunity to do some stuff with a free kick. Zinho bends it and it hits the post. It hit the woodwork. Junior Baiano tries to keep it alive now I had Romario Romario shoots wide of goal that was dangerous and it all began with Zinho's free kick oh this is just a great free kick over the wall dipping down low enough would have gone in the goal except it was too much out to the side hits the goal post Zinho just giving us a great example of the talent that these Brazilian players have on dead ball situations in the attacking third of the field. Then, of course, Romario's follow-up. Game starting to take on the look, Kevin, of missed opportunities for Brazil, as I think with any team, can be your demise. De Maria on the run towards the area and through. De Maria showing some real stamina, which is one of his attributes as a player. He just is tireless, working up and down the flank, right flank of the field from his outside defender position. The quality of his last pass, though, continues to in my mind, Kevin, speculate a little bit about him just not really being in his best form. And in that challenge that he has with Cafu for that outside back spot, or if you don't perform well to sports, and you've got Cafu waiting to come in behind you, gone. Linval Dixon, the square pass. Whitmore. Back to Dixon. His cross in front. Karam's high. The Nielsen plays it out of danger. Oh, 
Otto Silva plays it back. Otto Silva on Cesar. Stepping up though defensively, Ian Goodison. Finds Dion Burton. Burton. Pass was picked off fairly easily. I'd like to see Burton just put his head down, take number four. Conce Vows on. Don't try and pass it. Flag went up. Offside crowd cheers, but the flag went up. Shot well after the whistle. Essie Bahamas may come over and visit with Paul Hall. Samoa's knows how close calls like that are as Paul Hall was whistled for being offside. He times his run a little bit better. If the pass from number 18, Deion Burton, comes a little bit sooner, he's possibly looking at his Jamaica team taking a one-goal lead against the world reigning world champions. And Brazil tried to dump the ball over the top to Romario. He was in an offside position. We knew that this would be fun. I don't think we knew it would be scoreless. Paul Hall to the end line, takes a little shoulder from Gonzalez. And a goal kick coming up for Taparau. Now to the middle, some space. Straight up the middle. Edmundo. Nice little one-two. Played right side. Romario, the shot! Barrett got a piece of it. Romario walked in all alone. Just and here it is again. A great give and go. A great pass to number 11, Romario, from Edmundo. And although they're giving Jamaica... A goal kick, it was saved by Barrett. You saw it on that last replay that Barrett got a piece of it, but they gave Jamaica the goal kick. Missed call there, but wow. Brazil again an opportunity. Again, Barrett, goal post, whatever the reason is, becoming less and less important. What is important is that Brazil is still scoreless. And with just over 34 minutes to go, this has to be a scary thing if you're a Brazilian fan. And you can bet there are millions of Brazilians watching this game here tonight. On TV back in Brazil. Oh. Al Nielsen will work the left side for Brazil. Okay, Al just missed a great chance to play the ball to Zay Maria overlapping on the right side of the field. Nobody's watching him. Here's Danielson, chopped down, or I think we may get a caution here, and we will. Ian Goodison draws the yellow. Well, that kind of thing is just going to happen. Anytime you are put in a situation of defending one-on-one -on -one against a player of the caliber of Danielson, he just sometimes can't keep up. Romario keeps it alive. Second look just shows number five, Ian Goodison, just arriving late. Some of the color and pageantry that follows Jamaica and Brazil wherever they play, including the Orange Bowl here in Miami. Kevin Wall along with Rick Davis, great to have you with us here on Fox Sports World. The amazing thing, Jamaica... They used to be the 96th best team in the world. There's the ball played down low. Warren Barrett comes sliding across. They've moved from 96 to 39 under Rene Samoas. Mauro Silva. 55 caps, but yet has never scored a goal for Brazil. 
Zinho plays it quickly ahead to Edmundo. He's quickly surrounded. Ball goes over to Brazil. Madrid were actually doing, I think, a little more giving than getting. Ian Goodison getting the worst of that. He's real slow to get up. Watch Edmundo's right foot and on the outside of the leg of number five. Ian Goodison for Jamaica. Well, Edmundo has been manhandled pretty good in this game. Maybe he was just giving some back. I'm watching how this game is unfolding, Kevin. I can't help but think that with as hard as Jamaica is having to work, how they physically can sustain the level of competition that Brazil is throwing at them if they're not just going to continue to give up opportunities. And of course, the way to counteract that would obviously be for coach Rene Samoas to use some substitutions. Ooh, this is dangerous here. Ball finally cleared out. You start playing with a ball in your own area against a team like Brazil, they'll make you pay. Out of the wing, Paul Hall. The veteran of Portsmouth. Had one man to beat, couldn't do it. Now out wide, Junior. Only one cap for him. Kevin, you mentioned the name Junior, and to many, including that man, Mario Zagallo, remembers the great Junior of the 70s that kind of redefined the outside defender position by coming forward and proving that he could be such an effective attacker. So good at it that they actually moved him into a defensive midfield role. And I would suspect that there are a few babies born each year in Brazil that of course get the name Junior because of the passion and the love that all of Brazil seems to have for their soccer teams and players. Tremendous passion here at the Orange Bowl. Big crowd on hand. Dominated by fans of Jamaica. It really has been a treat in a lot of respects. It is very typical of World Cup competition, whereby you see the knowns against the unknowns. Brazil, so much expectation on them come international play. And of course, Jamaica, as we watch them do a great job of moving the ball around, nobody knows quite what to expect of them. Zinho went down. Ball played out wide. Junior Bayano plays it out wide. Gonzalez. Veteran of Botafogo. Dion Burton coming all the way back. Here's Simpson. Danielson breaks that play up. Counterattack opportunity. Junior. Junior holds possession. And Mundo. He had great chances in the first half. To Romario. Romario ran into the Jamaica defense. Oh, Romario's pass. Brazil just did a great job of not going the direction that they face. Dion Burton holds the ball in. Paul Hall runs into Junior Baiano. Free kick to Brazil.
Jamaica has shown the ability to put two and three good passes together, but it's that last touch that seems to be failing them. They can never really get into a really great goal-scoring position. Well, their attributes, their abilities, Kevin, really lend themselves to playing a through ball from midfield and even in their defensive half of the field. Of course, they've got some speedy people up front, but they don't have the technical skill that the Brazilian attackers do. And therefore, they're better off using their speed rather than their technical acuity to penetrate the defense. And this really is much like what they ran into, what the Brazilians ran into in the Confederations Cup against Australia. Australia just put a lot of people behind the ball. Here's a deflection. That could have been dangerous. Barrett was moving left. The ball deflected right. You talk about the ability of these Brazilian players series of give and goes right through the heart of the or Jamaican defense number seven junior to Romario and then Romario ends up having his last pass broken up but for still they'll just they'll just come right at you they don't need to go around you they don't need to go away from you they'll just come right at you and go through you for Jamaica, Paul Hall just continues to look for those quality opportunities in going forward. Peter Cargill, very aggressive. Plays the long ball for Paul Hall. Right there, though, Junior Viano. A bit of a size mismatch. I see a tired Paul Hall out there for Jamaica. First half, he was just right on those Brazilian defenders. His step has slowed down a little bit. He's got the old hands on his back. I think this Bra Brazilian team has really just physically worn down the Jamaica team. And as this game presses on, it's either going to be the individual effort going forward or the mistake at the back. Edmundo is very close, I think, to possibly getting a yellow pulled on him. Twice tonight, Essie Bahamas has had to tell him to get up. Flag goes up as the ball crossed the line. Edmundo trying to draw the foul. You see the ball going in that direction. Maybe embellishing on a little bit of contact there, but you see Essie just saying, hey, get up. Deion Burton getting ready to leave the game. Winston Griffiths will check in for Jamaica. So our first substitute. And I think a little bit of a tactical message there. Griffiths coming on. Much more of a midfield type of player. Kevin, not really a striker, although he does and has been called upon to play up front. Free kick to Brazil. Zinho chopped down by Peter Cargill. Ooh. Edmundo takes it to the left side this time. Ball played out wide. Jose Morea is chipped. Results in a goal kick. Dion Burton. Plays with Darby County. Great speed, but I think at the end he was simply out of gas. He'd made so many runs. In fact, he scored in four straight second-round matches, including one against the United States. Last little flurry of pushing that we saw. Kevin S.A. Bahamas actually gave number seven, Peter Cargill, for Jamaica, a yellow card caution. Jamaica is tiring. Quality of their passes like that one just off target. 
this is very scary. We're just over 22 minutes away from full time. And Jamaica and Brazil are in a scoreless draw. Well, the Brazilian faithful will tell you that this is called tournament play. And of course, the purpose in tournament play is to advance out of your group. Brazil, along with Jamaica, a part of a group of four teams. And as a result, the top two will advance. So the Brazilian faithful will say, man, okay, so we probably should have won, but we will still advance if we just finish second place or better in our group. But I think a lot of fans around the world expected Brazil to dominate. And at least from a scoring standpoint, they certainly have not. Well, and the Brazilian fans probably the most demanding of that. As a Gallo, you just you can just tell he's not happy. He doesn't want to walk out of this game with a tie. Out in front. Goodison plays it, but not out. Goodison miskicked it. Here's a chance in front. They were looking that time for Edmundo. Ball played out wide again. De Maria takes it wide. They're going to give a goal kick, but you just look at the players. As we saw Zay Maria there for the first time, Kevin, really trying to get the ball to the end line. And of course, we're, what, about 70 minutes into play as number seven Edmundo kind of stood on top of the 18-yard box with his hands on his hips saying, hey, get me the ball. Don't lose it out for wide. And we saw Brazil attacking so much right down the middle of the field earlier in this half. We then see Zay Maria and company attacking down the right side of the field. Here comes Taparel off his line. Good thing he did. Winston Griffiths was right there. Wow. That was almost a crucial mistake. Number three, Junior Baiano, just let that ball go. I think he thought it was just going to go straight to Taparel with nobody near. And Griffiths almost sucked, snuck into the back of that. He but ran right past the Brazilian defense. I think Brazilian defenders are a little fatigued. They've been chasing some people up top. And some pretty fast guys, too. Oh, no doubt. Deion Burton was just flying all over the field, making many a through type of run, which, of course, those long sprints are the ones that will wear you out the most. Zinho to the outside. Now cuts it in. The cross, though, handled easily. Rene Samoas talked to us this afternoon and said we want to cut down their passing lanes. We want to just eliminate them. And they've done that. They obviously, the Jamaicans have studied an awful lot of Brazilian tape. But, of course, Rene Samoas, being a Brazilian, knows this Brazilian team maybe as well as any coach in the world. way this is playing out, it's likely that Brazil, with just their persistence in going forward, will be given dividend by a goal. Good thing for Jamaica to do would be to try and catch Brazil napping a little bit. Do a quick counterattack, catch Brazil off guard, and maybe do the unthinkable. Paul Hall, the cross in front, knocked down at the six-yard line. Every Jamaican fan in the place is on his or her feet. This is amazing. I think Jamaican fans in the stands are sensing perhaps a point or maybe more. I think that we're going to see some substitutions here soon, Kevin, for Brazil. I'm starting to see all of the telltale signs from players when they get tackled or get knocked down. They stay down on the ground a little bit longer. And I think Rene Samoas, he senses it. And he's now trying to inspire his players. There it is, guys. We've got them where we want.
we're 17 minutes away from a tie, lift our energy level here maybe a bit, and we might even get a goal. The Jamaicans have been very aggressive in their tackling. Part of that is just their nature, and you got you just have to love it because there is an innocence about it. it doesn't have the malice that you see maybe a more experienced or knowledgeable player. Danielson wards off one tackler. Danielson tries to take it wide. Ball still alive along the end line. Look at Danielson now taking the defensive role. And actually doing a fine job of it against a much taller player in Theodore Whitmore. Ball played back to Edmundo. Solid defensive play, Fitzroy Simpson. Paul Hall, another long run. Right there with him, Gonzalez. The cross. And Gonzalez went down on the ground. Good thing that Paul Hall crossed that out of bounds. Well, the defensive strategy for Jamaica seems rather simple. Just chop them down. Chop them down, get bodies around. So difficult as an attacking player. Nelson trying to find a little bit of room and space, but Jamaica just kicking, pressing, attacking, and eliminating all space. Again, offside flag went up. About 35 yards out. Brazil needs to make an adjustment here, Kevin, in the way that they attack. Last several times have been very individualistic. A lot of dribbling, a lot of touches on the ball. If you're playing against a worn out defense, that's better. Ball doesn't travel distances very quickly that way. What they need to do is get back to that one and two touch and just penetrate right down the middle of the field. Look at Denilson, right up the middle. Punching that one out, Linval Dixon. Brazil has kept the pressure on all night, but they have nothing to show for it. Flag stays down. Crossed in front, just behind. They were looking to get the ball to Romario. I'm just wondering when Paul Hall runs out of gas. He's been making run after run after run. He's like the Energizer Bunny. Danielson with some open space. Looking to Romario. Lays it off. Edmundo. Edmundo, the shot over the bar. So Edmundo almost does the phenomenal, and that is chip the goalkeeper. You get a look at Sagalo. And then, of course, you mentioned how tired Paul Hall is on the replay here. Watch how Edmundo kind of takes his shot but it deflects off of a defender resulting in a corner kick off a of Gardner Gardner for Jamaica corner kick for Brazil Jamaica takes the pressure off under 13 and a half minutes to go great to have you with us at the Orange Bowl for this one Brazil the best team in the world against the reggae boys Zé Maria up front. Up from his right back position. Zinho pushes it outside for Junior. Here's Junior with the crossing attempt. Rejected. And a throw in to Brazil. Is Brazil pressing? Brazil has lifted the level of their game trying to make something happen. But Jamaica has just been tough, Kevin. They've just matched them step for step. The other way, Theodore Whitmore. Return pass to Whitmore. Ball across the line. Nice return feed from Paul Hall. And a goal kick coming up to Brazil. 
seeing several Brazilian players kind of hunch forward. I think they're every bit as tired as their Jamaican counterparts. And of course, the concern for Zagallo is do they have it within themselves to come up with the necessary effort to get a goal? Nil-nil. Just under 12 minutes to go. Jamaica trying to get the goal, the deflection, and Taffarel fortunately was down in the right spot. That ball deflected in on goal. Well, that was just a tired leg that swung at that ball that almost ended up getting in behind Taffarel. And we're going to see, I think, another card here. For just a tired tackle foul against Nilsson as he was penetrating right down the middle of the field. That actually now the fourth yellow card called against. There's Romario, the shot save made. Edmundo can't come up with a rebound. Edmundo was right there. Another injured player, Junior, down on the Orange Bowl turf. Replay of the shot there again. Warren Barrett just true to every challenge that Brazil has thrown at him. And when he wasn't true to the one, he got help from the goalpost. Another discussion among Brazil and Jamaica players. Ian Goodison having a little bit of a discussion with Junior Baiano. There you get a look at Junior Baiano. This has been, I know it's an overused cliche, but this has really been hard fought. I mean, the tackles have all been very, very tough. It, it is not looking like a warm-up tournament to the World Cup. It is looking like a competition that both teams are really wanting to accomplish something. Ball Hall going one on one. Gets past his man down in the area. And what do we have? Nothing, says Essie Baharmas. Well, and number four, Gonsalves for Brazil is down on the ground. I think, Kevin, as we get another look at it, Although not really intentional, I think Gonzalez falls on the heels of 22, Paul Hall. That's in the penalty area, and that's the penalty kick. And now some debris being thrown on the field. This is one of the maturity things there. I'm not so sure that Gonzalez is really hurt as much as he is wanting to go along with the sympathy of S.A. Bahamas, making sure he doesn't award a penalty kick. Gonzalez down along the end line. Brazil will play with 10 here. Theodore Whitmore plays it wide left. Ahead it comes for Simpson. Simpson is open. His long shot well off the mark. Simpson knows as a player technically to keep your shots down low, you have to have your body position forward. He kind of reached to shoot that ball, leaning back in the process, and it went way high over the goal. Brazil a little bit careless there, Kevin, not having have made the adjustment to Gonzalez, who is still down off of the field, receiving some treatment to playing without one of their normal center backs. And Zagallo is not going to take any more time because he's going to get Cesar into the game. As Gonzalez is still down along the end line. But he was unable to get his man in. Zagallo could not get Cesar in. Here comes Cargill playing it out wide. Errant last touch there. Fitzroy Simpson, he's just dead tired. We get to see... Gonzalez now back up on his feet. And of course now, 
No, he's not going backwards. He got himself a yellow card because Cesar tried to step onto the field prior to the acknowledgement of the referee, which is, of course, what the rulebook says. You cannot enter the field until he says so. Cesar enters this game replacing number four, Gonzalez, and he enters it and immediately gets himself a yellow card. Before the play had even started, Taparel with the goal kick. Under seven minutes to go. Still no score. Jamaica and Brazil, the reggae boys, playing a strong, strong game and with an opportunity to win this. Jamaica, a team that has grown in confidence with two ties to end World Cup qualifying. And now they're playing the best team in the world and they have an opportunity to win. Samoa's thought a handball should have been called. The longer this game goes on where Jamaica is still in it, tied, you, you just have to feel for Rene Samoa's in that this, this is just a tremendous accomplishment for he and his Jamaican players. They should be able to maintain the tie or even possibly get a goal. And for that matter, even I think, Kevin, if they give up a goal, Jamaica has really performed very, very well today. So there is such a thing in a game like this as a moral victory for Jamaica. They've got to be my book. Edmundo, ahead it comes to Nielsen, to Romario, and again Barrett comes up big for Jamaica. And Barrett may be hurt. As quickly as you think that Brazil has tired themselves out, a couple of passes, and they're right back knocking on the door again. Anytime you have players going for a ball in opposite directions, we see number 11, Romario, go in on a breakaway. Barrett comes out and clears it away. But I think actually Barrett collides with number five, Goodison here, as they both are sliding on the ground. M Romario goes over the top. I think it is Goodison and Barrett that collide. And Warren Barrett. A magnificent performance for the Jamaican keeper tonight. He has robbed Romario. He has robbed Edmundo. Essie Bahamas trying to move the game along. Just to put things in perspective, as we see Jamaica do the precautionary move by getting their backup goalkeeper up and warming up. Number 13, Aaron Lawrence. I don't think he'll go into the game, but put things in perspective. Barrett, just how long has he been around, Kevin? I played against him. That's when scary. Played, That's oh, scary to think. Oh, now you're taking it to a personal level. It's okay for me to say <laughs> how long ago that was, but I don't need my partner. Tell us exactly that. how long ago that was. Two weeks ago. Uh, Barrett. Eight clean sheets in 15 World Cup qualifiers. He only allowed 15 goals in those 15 games. And he has played very big tonight for Jamaica. What a shocker this would be if Jamaica would come away with a point here in Miami against the best team in the world. Junior Bayano. Plays it back. Cesar. Junior Bayano. Brazil's way of approaching at this particular juncture in the game, Kevin, is they will likely really invest a lot of energy and ambition going forward in the last couple of minutes of the game, wanting to get that goal when players are tired. Edmundo to his left. Zinho to Romario. Flag went up, though, offside. Romario was in an offside position. And it's going well for you. It goes well. When it's not, of course it's not. We see Zagallo and 
Samoas. Romario clearly just got himself in behind as we see. It stopped there perfect. He is in behind the last defender and in an offside position. Great call by the officiating crew here. Junior Baiano, under two minutes to go. Official time being kept out on the field. Almoro Silva. Play it out wide, rejected there. Here comes Winston Griffiths, second half substitute. Jamaica is not even sending their players forward much. Running a couple of isolated players up there. They're doing essentially, Rick, what they've done almost the entire game. Play to two men up top, in particular in the second half, where it's been a little more pronounced. They played up to two men and kept eight men at home. They have, and, and it has worked to perfection. Even still, the few times as effective as Brazil has been, Kevin, they've had opportunities. Barrett has been huge for them in goal. But they really have, I think, even to a greater extent late in this game, we aren't seeing them press forward. They aren't really as much interested in scoring as I think they are in wanting to just keep the result as it is. Zinho to Edmundo. Oh, great move there around Goodison. Romario, the feed, broken up. Zamaria, his cross out in front, headed, cleared but not out. Finally dumped to the touchline and a throw in to Brazil. Brazil trying to get the game-winning goal. We are now into injury time. Long ball played for Linval Dixon. Junior Baiano plays it back in for Taparel. What an amazing contest this has been. And we're certainly glad that you have joined us here on Fox Sports World. From Miami's Orange Bowl. Here's Romario. Romario goes down. And the ball played up into the crowd. Well, Romario had absolutely no support forward. His Brazilian teammates just decided to let him go it alone. He tried to make something for nothing. Jamaica, it's a 90-plus minute game long here. It's not over just yet. Yet to look at the way they kind of approach that last throw-in, they're playing the game like it's already over to a certain extent. Linval Dixon breaks that play up as Edmundo tried to move past him. The defense for Jamaica has just played magnificently. Flag stays down. Moving in, Simpson. Simpson. Jamaica can still win this. Ball crossed in front. Headed out, Edmundo. Battles in the midfield. Jamaica comes away with it again. Whitmore. Holding. Paul Hall. Wouldn't this be magnificent for Jamaica if they come up with a point? Ball played long. Whitmore. Knocked down there, and we're going to get a caution here. Junior Baiano gets red carded. Junior Baiano is gone. Kevin, that is a devastating call for Brazil. Junior Baiano, it's actually a straight red card, which means he will be suspended for the next game. Ooh. But you look at his right arm. As he comes forward, his right arm is all targeted at number 11 space, Theodore Whitmore. A well-deserved red card. For Junior Baiano. I think the players that are arguing on his behalf didn't see what we just had the opportunity to see. And now Zagallo has to make a tactical adjustment. Look at the right arm. Comes up, 
He's just walking straight by the ball, going straight into the player. But Zagala, what he has to do now is make another adjustment. He had to replace number four, Gonzalez. He brought in number 14, Cesar, who isn't a true defender or sweeper, but has been called to play that position in other games. He now has to drop another player back to help anchor the defense and possibly just endure what Jamaica has with this last opportunity. Fitzroy Simpson, the free kick. No clue there. Now Edmundo. Jamaica with plenty of numbers behind the ball. And that's it! Jamaica, the reggae boys, gain a point against the best team in the world. Brazil and Jamaica play 90 plus minutes. A scoreless draw. And listen to this crowd cheering the reggae boys. Stay with us. We come back with more here on Fox Sports World. 